hello everyone, it's me Palomov, or we're just, I'm just kidding, but hello everyone, it's me Palomov, and today we're, we're going to be talking about her past, like, things I didn't cover. I covered a little bit of the Slazo, but I didn't do Slazo yet. So yeah, we're going to go in the Slazo situation. And by the way, thank you for 62 subscribers. I'm very really happy I got 62 subscribers. And 87.4 of you guys are not subscribed, and please keep watching and like this video and subscribe for more content like this. And I do gameplay videos and other videos. Which I have some other videos on my Polymov 2 channel. So yeah. Please subscribe to those channels. But I may not upload a lot on those. But whatever. So yeah. Sorry if I screamed. You shouted. Whatever the hell I did. <sighs> so yeah, let's get into this. Slaughter the situation. So Slaughter on June 10th, 2019. Slazo was falsely accused of being a rapist by his ex-girlfriend, which resulted in many YouTubers such as Squizzy and I'm Alex to support on Che Shay. However, Slazo responded after that debunks the alleg allegations with evidence. Hyojin received backlash due to, to her not apologizing to Slazo and de for defending Shay, and due for hold up. Due to an anecdotes, or I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry, anecdotes by some of Hyojin's friends, such as I'm Alex and uh, others. Kind of Hyojin spearheaded the assault rumor and sought to undermine Slyther's reputation. In September 2019, Hyojin so called apology, apologized for the situation in one of her Twitch teams, so it is now lost. In, in July 2020, Hyojin revealed that Salazar followed them on Twitter, calling them calling him their biggest friend, which means they're most likely on good terms. Okay, this is wrong. I just don't know what to say about Slazo, but you know, I bet I I I, I bet Shay is is actually lying about it, which probably is a liar. And now we're gonna get onto like darker. Like this is gonna be very dark. Okay, this shit right here is gonna be an issue right here. I'm already. Uh, this is kind of making me a bit angry already. Or very mad. Annual animal abuse accusations. All right. If you really ab abuse an animal, we have issues. We have big issues. And after you do it more than, if you're a serial abuser, we have issues with you. We, I have big issues. So yeah, let's read it. Animal abuse accusation. After the size of the situation, Turkey Tom made a video about the situation, where it was revealed in direct messages or in DMs from an unknown source that stated Hyojin was abusive to her dog. That was allegedly living with her at the time. The source claimed that Hyojin picked the dog and proceeded to drop the dog on the source's back and laughed at it. And she later came out with a statement regarding the allegations. Alright. If that was true, that's a sign of a sociopath. Or a psychopath. Whatever it is. Oh yeah, this is a sign of a psycho or a sociopath. Like... Sorry, I just had to do some research. So basically, um, so she dropped it. So she picked up the dog and dropped the dog on the back and laughed about it. Okay, that is a sign of they're going to do that to people. When they hurt animals, that's a sign of they will. They actually will hurt humans in the future. And I don't know how to stop it, but you could just like, I would just say I like yell at them. Dude, to be honest, animal abuse, that's just so disgusting of you, Hyojin. We already have issues already. Come at me now. As in, yeah, whatever, but... She literally came up with a statement regarding the allegation, claiming she did not abuse any animals. Had how many? However, many did not believe her side due to the fact she mentioned the dog would usually bite and scratch her, making other her releases make an excuse about ab abusing the dog. Well, that is true, she has made an excuse. Alright, about the dog would usually bite and scratch her. Okay, the reason why dog the dog is doing that, because you did bad things to it. When you do something bad to a dog, they're gonna retaliate. You're not gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you, you don't expect to think that they're gonna attack. You expect them to be afraid, which they probably will be afraid, but if you bonded with them. But if it's like a new dog, then they would just straight up retaliate. Yeah, or some of the dogs would just retaliate or be afraid. 
Because if I was that dog, I would have retaliated and probably bit her a lot and scratched her. Oh, we have more. Alright, it wasn't until kind of Ellie Ward or Alex or Aiden. Aiden Walker, so let's call him Aiden for now. Who looked for the dog and its owner came out with a Discord post explaining the situation further. Aiden said that Yojin did not live with the dog, that she didn't drop the dog on the floor. Gwen said, reflectively he pushed it off the couch and it jumped on her. Which is what the source claimed was the abuse. He said he that happened multiple times with different people due to the dog's poor training. Aiden claims that to talk to the dog with the owner, the dog's owner sent, and the owner regrets putting a story about Hyojin to the public. This is not her first animal abuse allegations, as Giddy alleged Hyojin mocked the death of her cat. Ooh. Wait a minute, so Aiden's saying that that's not true. No. No, I'm not talking about the Aiden who watched my videos. No, -uh, not that. Um, Aiden who, you know, is a dog. Okay. I don't know what Aiden is really saying though. Don't. Really, but I'm still believing that she. Yeah. I mean, if she's really an animal abuser, then we have big issues. But if this is like allegations, then where did this come from? Now we're on the most common thing ever. Toxicity. Alright, let's go into this. Several former friends of Hyojin have claimed that, that she bullied them. Such as Giddy claiming that Hyojin invited her to group chat just to mock her. And even accused her of wanting to sleep with NFKRZ. Well, wait a minute, who is that by the way? I don't know who that is, but... Bruh. So now we're gonna go into the top tier Meowba shit. Like, we're... Meowba firstly got exposed, but we're not talking about Meowba. Oh, no, no, actually, they kind of give me weird vibes. Whatever, but racism and slurs. In 2019, a Discord message was League of Hyojin ranting at someone and calling them the N word multiple times, amongst other insults. Hyojin has also said, I hate the N word on a stream, was called out by her friends for it. Okay, I can't really say that word because, and I probably sat the censor it, which I did, and because this stuff is so disgusting. Why would you even say the N word when you can't say that? You're not supposed to say the N word, and I mean, we all know that, but you know, why would somebody do this? Why would somebody on this earth say the N word? Oh, yeah, future Levi here, or Paul, or wherever you have to call me, because cause I've released my first name now, bruh. Alright, so this is the Discord message, by the way. No, you effing N word, F you piece of shit. You are the worst person I've spoken to. I hope you fall in the toilet backwards. Ass eating, self human centipede, N word, ill. Looking as Canadian, be either. <laughs> okay, this is just racist right here. Bringing the Canadians and black people? That's so racist. Looking as Canadian. Bra beaver teeth. Looking at shithead, get a left in the sewers and make a living off of the drinking catcher of it. Colin, love you, you dirty sand. And oh, oh, I guess I guess there's this racist video on her. Like, bra, she's literally like a race of Asian, and yet she's being racist. I guess that's what she gets being racist to her when she's racist. So yeah, this part is gonna be the worst part. The worst. Part ever. Alright, pedophilia accusations. That's the worst part ever. This is the worst thing ever, but it's an accusation, so we don't know, really know if it's true or not. It might be true. <sighs> I'm losing my voice. Mm. Alright. After allegations of animal abuse, many people searched and found evidence that Yojin had NSFW, an NSFW account for to control YouTubers in an inappropriate nature. Oh yeah, I had to censor that word because I don't really want to get into that stuff. Ew. So she received extreme backlash when many people found out. A picture found a picture of a, a, a she made of a Twitter username, Aline, or uh, Aline, yeah, Aline ta Nine Tails, when she was 16 years old. That she drew back in 2017, accusing her of being a pedophile as. Hyojin was 18 at that time. These controversies caused Hyojin to claim that she was planning on attempting suicide in this tweet. 
She was soon hospitalized for me after making that tweet, after according to the monitor on the Discord server. On July 2019, three years ago, Hyojin was in a mental ward after her hospitalization. Since then, she had been released. Alright, I have the post now. So yeah, it says, For my next trip, I, I'm going to effing- uh, Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. I'm not going to read that. I am not going to read this, okay? I will not read this. Ugh. It's so... Ugh. Hold on. I'm going to take a break. Bear back. i got to take a break from this. I'll be back later. Oh, yeah. By the way, um, the other part on the Wikitubia thing, by the way, I'll link it below. So, yeah. On the Wikitubia thing, um, they had all the things, but... <sighs> the most, the latest thing was the emotional abuse, which I actually talked about her being abusive to punk. And, um, so yeah, please watch that video first before you come here. And by the way, I, I, I probably should have made an apology, like the apology video. But also, the apology is in that first video. So yeah, I have timestamps on this video and that video. And I'll link it below. So yeah, thank you for watching this. If you made it to the end, this really means much to me because not a lot of people watch it to the end. But if you do, that's really good on you. And hopefully, I'll see y'all later and maybe not talk about Hyojin again.